Welcome back subscribers and welcome new viewers to this is Leo's monthly September 2021 general reading for sun, moon, rising, north or south hands of the moon. Okay, we're going to have a new moon very soon. Today's the 4th and the new moon is going to be on the 7th of September. 14 degrees Virgo. So if you have anything in Virgo or in hard aspect to Virgo on with your natal planet, any of your planets on your natal wheel and or your north or south nodes of the moon, you might want to check that out to see how that, because that's going to affect you and personally. And then the full moon will be on the 20th of September in Pisces, 28 degrees. And check that as well if you'd like. We are going to have Mercury retrograde in Libra on the 27th of September as well. And then you might not know and you might wanna check if this pertains to you as well. Saturn and Jupiter are still retrograde in Aquarius. They will go direct the beginning to mid-October. Okay, so with that, Leos, let's see what is going on with you. What you need to know this month. Okay, for Leos, for September. Sun, moon, rising. Whoa, there we go. North or south. Oh, wow, okay. All right this time. Okay, this is the first card out. And another zodiac sign this month got this card, but it was upside down. And I don't recall which one, but you might be looking through if, if you are also listening to your moon sign or your ascendant sign or north or south nodes of the moon. That might be, and you come across this card again, doubly, this will be doubly correct for you. Okay, so let's see if there's anything else for Leo's. Whoa. Sun, moon, rising. North or south nodes of the moon. For Leo's, for September, general monthly. General monthly. All right, so let's go with that. Well, no, let's do that one too. Oh, that one's upside down, okay. All right. Okay, and this was, these cards are from my soul deck. That's the second card out. And you might personally get something from these cards that pertain to you specifically also, so I will show them one more time. And you can pause this video too if you need to. Okay, that one, and then this is the second one. Okay, and Leo's, if this particular um, reading is not correct for you this month, again, you check your moon or your rising and or your north or south nodes of the moon as well, because it's going to be different for all of you. And you just, um, because you're all different and you have different natal wheels, you have different, uh, the transiting planets are hitting all of you differently. So let me, yes, let me my. Okay, so let me take a look here. Oh, the first thing I got, something is being handed to you, Leos, or something is going to be handed to you. I was drawn to that hand right here he's going out like that and that was the first thing that came to me something of great importance personal importance for you leos in some way and i'm getting to 
Some of you, this has to do with something you have has been unknown to you. You were in the dark about. So you're going to be show, being shown something, being given something, and it's going to um, bring clarity to you. It's going to bring some type of conclusion for some of you I'm getting. And I apologize if you hear my little puppy. She hears me talking and she wants to come in, but she can't. Okay. So what else? Um, Okay, and this card with the hand and the person is standing up, he or she, is um, looking towards this card. And this person is balled up and the head is here and so they're upside down. And here's this white, so let me just think a minute, let me just look a minute here. So some of you are being shown the light, um, being shown something or something is going to come to light for you, whatever that means. It could be something physically, it could be a thought, it could be um, something tangible or intangible. Um, that's going to be different for all of you. getting something here this is like a he's holding in his other hand he's holding it's like a it's like a sword but the sword um, has fire on it at the end of it so it's like you're being prodded some of you are okay I just got being prodded wake up wake up is what I got and so okay and I also got for for others of you a, a fire is being built under you so you are um, you're about ready to take action with something and that's what I'm getting with this fire for those of you that that makes sense to a fire is being built under you um, you're getting ready to take action and you're about ready to um, go into action move into action and do something and it could be rather quick too let me see this other being balled up um, yeah, so you've been with this card to me, this person being balled up. You literally, some of you might, your emotions could be in knots or you have been in knots about something. You've been very upset about something, um, tied up in knots like, and you can't move and very confined and... Um, in the dark about something again I'm getting for some of you so it's either physically confined or mentally emotionally spiritually in the dark about something and and you haven't because with this being upside down to me you haven't been able to find the answer or get light of that situation or whatever that is whatever that is whether it's physical um, get out of this confinement or find that solution or the truth or whatever that is again leo's and you've been tied up in knots and so but something's coming because with this card and the hand and that prodding facing this you have either just recently something like this is what i just said one of those situations one of those examples hap has happened already or it's going to. It's going to. Okay, let's let's get some more details. All right, Leo. Okay, I have pre-shuffled all of these cards. I always do that before I start. Whoa. Okay. 
All right. Upside down. Yeah. Okay, just like this upside down. Okay. The Five of Swords. This is the Five of Swords. But it came upside down for you, which means you have been in turmoil. You have been tied in knots about something. But it's clearing up. It's either just recently cleared up and um, you've got clarity. You have um, taken care of that situation in some way. Some type of conclusion has come to you, has um, concluded that cycle or that whatever negative um, swords energy has to do with air and has to do with cutting through um, and, and really hard, tough, stormy energy, stormy emotions, so negative emotions of whatever kind they are. But you're coming out of that because that's what it shows when it's right side up. That's what you were in or that's what you have been in. And you are either out of it now or you are coming out of it very soon. Because whatever this is being handed to you, shown to you, the truth about something, whatever that is, is going to end this for you. Or it has just ended this for you. And for those of you, again, that's already happened, this is just clarification for you. This is a confirmation. And maybe that's what some of you need is all is the confirmation to, to know, is this really ended? Am I, is the other shoe going to fall? No, it's not Leo's. No, that's the end. You have worked through something, whatever that emotional turmoil, emotional um, situation experience has been. Yeah, that, Two of Pentacles to me that's kept you going round in circles, round and round, and um, you couldn't find a solution. You couldn't get an answer. You couldn't, it, very confusing, very upsetting, and just kept you going in the same cycle. And a uh, figure eight. And maybe some of you have been, you've had two things, two, because Pentacles have to do with physical. Um, something tangible. So you you were, have been physically battling, possibly for some of you, with two different situations, two different ways to go, two different something, and that has got you had you tied up in knots, or um, whatever that is. Again, had you in this whatever that means to you and maybe you're getting another word that I'm not uh, receiving that's more appropriate for you that's very very possible so you take that because um, this is general reading okay and then you have the page of cups yes I just got new emotional opportunities are coming to you new Emotional, you're having an emotional expansion of some kind in your emotional self with your emotions. That makes sense. And it's a positive expansion because this is um, a closed down of your emotions, very negative, closed. It's got you tied up in knots. It's got you, you know, whatever that negative emotion or emotions has been. This is the opposite. This is the opposite. See how he's standing too. And he's open. His Look at his arms and his stance. He's very open. And that's you. You're now, okay, I just got some of you. You're now um, open or you will soon be open to new emotional experiences that are, it's going to expand you and be very compatible and comparable. And I also got the word necessary for some of you. Loving, because I was drawn to, see all the pink that he's wearing? Pink has to do, that color has to do with love. And um, I, at least specifically for you, that's what I'm getting with the pink color, love. 
is blossoming. Your self-love, love of others, love of the world, love of humanity, love of I just got the truth. You're being told the truth, some of you. Okay, uh, that fish is talking to that, and maybe it's, maybe you're Pisces, or maybe um, whoever has been giving you information, giving you truths, is a Pisces. Could be, doesn't have to be. They could have Pisces in their chart, or you could, possibly. You don't have to, though. But that's just a message for someone specific. Okay, so let's go and see what else comes up. For you, Leos. Oops. But yeah, it's it's been because I'm getting drawn to the two waters too, and um, it's calming it's calming down for you. So whatever has had you in any type of turmoil or standstill, that's coming to an end. That's coming to an end. And you're it's like the Six of Swords. I just got you. You're getting you. You are coming into calmer waters emotionally, physically, mentally for yourself. Yes, there you go. Nine of Pentacles. Um, yes, um, you're going to be flourishing in some way. Something's coming towards you. Some tangible reward I'm getting for whatever you've been through. And I was drawn to the little bird um, has a... has something's over his head so he can't see, and he might not see this coming. This could be a, a surprise. It's a good surprise. A gift that's coming to you, possibly for some of you. And um, it's very rewarding to you. See all that yellow around, and, and even his robe is yellow. It really increases your self-worth. Whatever this is, is coming towards you. And nine also signifies the ending of a cycle. Okay. Okay, so let's... Okay, I just was drawn to the blue. He's wearing blue too. Communication. Communication is going to increase for you or you will... Um, have increased communication coming to you. And again, I'm, I'm, I hear the word truth. Truths. Truths are coming towards you. And I was just drawn to see the bottom of the deck is justice. So it's going to, to really balance the scales out for you. Um, and that's what truth does. It corrects anything that wasn't a truth and something you might be have been believing for all your life for some of you maybe and this now this truth is coming in to balance out the scales so that you can be free for real even if it doesn't feel like it at first leo's okay Because what I'm get, what I just got, is that some of you, and this is actually the world in general too. We've all been in jail. We all are in jail, but we didn't know it, and we haven't known it. And some of us still don't know it. But truths are coming out. This is the Aquarian age. We're coming out of the Piscean age, which has everything to do with secrets, fantasy, deceiving, easily being deceived also so and we're coming out of that into truth honesty compassion um love deep love and so anyway that was something for someone some of you okay Knight of Swords is out next, and then the Ace of Cups. That is beautiful. Yes, the Knight of Swords. So whatever this that you have been battling internally, externally, or both, you have been very courageous, and you are courageous. And Leo's, that's your 
that's that's a word for you Leos anyway courageous lions very brave and this is what I'm seeing with this card for you and you could have air air sign is the again significant for um, the swords so you could have Aquarius Libra Gemini um, in your natal wheel you don't have to though but you will eventually, if you haven't quite yet, Leos, you will get to the root. You will cut through um, because you're determined, you're courageous to get to that root truth, whatever it is. And that's what I'm seeing this card to be too. Whatever is being handed to you, whatever is coming towards you, whatever you will be receiving, whether it's information or something tangible, again, it's going to be different for all of you. And some of you, again, are being prodded, and that might not feel so good, but the prodding is essential for you to go ahead and dig to the root of this, of this truth, whatever this is. And you will be successful and you will flourish. This is going to make you so happy, so fulfilled, abundant, abundance, emotional abundance, emotional fulfillment. And that's, that's inner and outer, inner being first and foremost, our most important, our self-worth, our self, how we feel on a core level about who we truly are and, and that feeling at home and, um, calm and peaceful and balanced with who we are it's just that very silent responsible self-love and I know that's those are just words um, I don't know if I can explain it how I'm feeling it but hopefully that's getting across at least hopefully to some of you um, yes your cup is going to be overflowing, overflowing with unconditional love for humanity, first and foremost for yourself, and then others you're in your environment and, and all of humanity and wanting to see the very best and um, on this earth. And maybe I'm getting some of you even physically going out and being that those courageous ones in action taking action for the good of this Aquarian age and humanity because of the truths that are coming out and that you are finding out that you didn't know was the truth and then now you have something to fight for because you feel in your soul that's the right thing to do and that's what your calling is and some of you I'm physically getting you are doing that now and others of you you will be doing that Okay, so let's now, and that's very, very good. That is awesome. That is outstanding, Leos. Because you are at home on stage anyway. That's who you Leos are naturally. And some of you I just got, have been working through what we call, you've been the wounded Leo. And so you have been working through your personal, personal work possibly even that personal work, astrological personal work. And those of you, you're going to know who I'm ta uh, talking about. You're going to know exactly what I mean. And you probably know, if you don't know, I'm an astrologer. And so, of course, I speak about ad astrology and personal work through astrology, which is our north and south notes of the moon. Very essential for each one of us. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, and that sparks your interest, and you want to know, please leave me a comment. Send me an email. If you know your north and south nodes of the moon, and, you're, and you've heard me talk about it even many times, and now you're saying, okay, you're ready for it. All right. That's awesome. And um, just check and see... In my, I have seven viewer requests, past readings, general readings that I've done on nodes. 
if they're none are yours, then let me know what, what yours are and I will do a general reading for you. And that doesn't just help you, that helps each and every other soul out there that also has your same um, zodiac sign placement and house placement. Okay. I do free natal wheels as well, so if that's what you're interested in and you want to know, leave me a comment, send me an email. I'd be happy to do that. Okay. So next out, we have reversals again. A lot of reversals in these last two readings. Um, the reading I did before this was Gemini. So you might have something in Gemini. You don't have to. I was just um, called to say that. So, so for those of you that sounds right to also watch the Gemini, go ahead and do so. But you too... And I'm almost done. I have one more to do, which is Aquarius after you. And you, Gemini and Leos, you receive the most, I mean, upside reverse reversal card reversals that I've done. In fact, that I've ever done. Okay. So, Nine of Wands and Eight of Wands, both in reverse. So what I just got from that is some of you might have either backpedaled, taken a couple steps backwards, or you have felt like you have taken a couple steps backwards and that you're not making progress, that you have even digressed a little bit. Well, whether that is true or not, all right, um, you, you have the fortitude, you have the determination and the ability to go ahead and face that and do whatever's appropriate according to what, what that means for you. You know what to do. You know how to go ahead and and take responsibility and do the right thing. If you have digressed a little bit, all right, we all do that, we all do that. But it takes a bigger person. And I see Leos, you are, you are, you are maturing in that way and you're able to go ahead and um, what do I say, what word, put, I don't like the word ego, that doesn't, but, but put your, be mature enough, mature enough to accept that and face that, if that is correct for you. And I see you are doing that or you will do that because um, you will not allow yourself to stay if you really truly are, if you've digressed a little bit, you won't allow yourself to do that. And, yeah, and maybe some of you also with this Eight of Wands, because to me with the Eight of Wands, upright, to me, and specifically for the, this reading, for you, Leos, if it was upright, you have all the energy in the world. You have the all the information and you're ready to go. Well, with it upside down, you don't, you're lacking in energy and that, that's, you know, that happens to all of us. Absolutely. Especially in these times and what's going on and all this, there's a lot of energies and frequencies that we don't see flying around. So, um, that's not surprising that some of you right now could be down or lacking energy and you're needing to, um, Go ahead and just re-energize yourself so that you can keep going and and know that and so that you can keep moving forward. Maybe that's it. You have burnt yourself out, and so which means um, somehow I just got maybe in your thinking some of you negative thinking or maybe because okay. What I'm getting, Leos, 
what zapped your energy is because those of you that did take a step or two backwards, because you stepped backwards, you lost your energy. You lost your momentum for the moment. You can regain it. Absolutely. This is how we learn. And um, that leaving your body, you that that's a sign. That's a sign for you that maybe you took a wrong turn or you, whatever. I mean, this is part of all, you know, we do that. This is part of um, mastering our own selves and who we are and the truth and, and everything. So don't beat yourself up too badly, please, because that keeps you in it longer too. But you just, okay, you, the quickest and best way is to see that and um, reverse it right back so you can get back on track, whatever that is for you. And you know what that is. And just do it. And you, your energy is going to come right back to you. That's what I'm seeing. Your energy is going to come right back to you. And um, the Nine of Wands upright to me is you've gone through a hard, hard time. and But it's made you stronger. It's made you wiser, more mature, and balancing you. You were balancing yourself out. Well, it being upside down again is you're out of kilter. You are a little, you're wavering a little bit about something. So you're not sure about something. But again, what I'm seeing is you were on the right track. So if you're wavering about being on the correct track that you were on before you took whatever, whatever, you changed positions, you you turned a different direction or something is what I'm seeing, Leos, and you're going to know what I mean. So whatever that turn was, whatever that change from what you were doing previously, you were on the right track. So you're going to have to, or you don't have to, um, you, you have the choice to now, and maybe this is just confirmation for some of you because you weren't sure. Okay. So you're going to know what that is. And you know how to correct it for yourselves. You know how to do that. So you just do it. And both of these cards then will turn upright and you will have the energy and you will be able to conclude a um, cycle. And you will be out of this for good, out of this... Because, see, this is upside down. So whatever you were doing, you were getting yourself out of these negative, um, debilitating, depressing energies. Whatever this negative was, that's why it's upside down. So, again, do what you were originally doing. Or, well, I don't know. what. I, cause since this is a general reading, I don't want to go any further with that because... But if any of you have any specific questions for me um, about this that you want me to see specifically for you, I can do that absolutely, absolutely. And I will, and I would need to check your natal wheel to be more accurate if that's possible. If that's not possible, I will do my very best just with the tarot, and I will do a quick um, reading, just a quick reading. Again, I don't charge anything. This is essential I'm getting for some of you. You're really um, needing that, and so if that if that sounds right for you, send me a comment, leave me an email, and I will email back the information to you, okay? What I find out, what I'm seeing specifically for you, okay? But I do, I would need your name and your birth date. If you don't have your time and your place of birth, at least your birth date and your name would be great. That, that will help me out tremendously so I can get more accurate for you specifically. Okay. All right, so let's keep going because I don't, I'm getting a little long here. 
I want to give you Leos as much information as I possibly can. Okay, so let's let's get some more details on this Two of Pentacles. This Two of Pentacles. Okay. All right. Okay, so yes, whatever you've been going round and round about, whatever you were trying to figure out what was, which way was the best way for you or what was your best next step or whatever this is, it has really, or at least in the past, has it really this is five of pentacles it had you stuck it had you lacking you were lacking in some way um really in survival mode you were really some of you i got lost out in the barrens is what i'm getting you know just really alone and you felt defeated and um anyway but the second card that came out is the six of wands so five six you are or have been taking step uh, steps forward or a step forward or you will be taking a step forward out of that out of that which is going to put you in the six of wands and yeah, you're going to be much happier um sit with that one I, all I'm seeing with that card is you're going to be much happier it's going to um, enable you to take a leap up a step out of whatever again to whatever's got you tied in knots for some of you or at a standstill whatever that is I'm not seeing anything else about that specifically. Nothing's coming to me. So, um, but you're going to know what that is. Okay. So let's see. Is there anything else that really truly needs clarification? What else does Leo's need? You know what? I'm being drawn to see what the main energy that is coming to you right now this month of september the strongest energy that's assisting you leos right now so let's just see i think you're the only one or the second one only the second out of all of my readings that will receive this car a special card for you so okay so let's just see here all right, so Leo's, what is their strongest vibration energy that's coming to them right now, assisting them with whatever they are needing assistance with this month? Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising. North or South Nose of the Moon. Okay, let's try one more time. Leo's. Okay, that one. Definitely. Wow. Okay. Okay, ground yourself. This is Gaia. Nine. Okay, and this is number 28. And... 2 plus 8 is 10. So yes, you are completing something. You're very close. You're very close. That's what I'm getting. And okay, and this is sacred geometry too. This this opens up your subconscious to assist you with this um, opening of this energy for you. Okay, so let me read what it says. The frequency of Gaia, or Earth, reminds us that we are infinitely connected to one another just as we are to our Great Mother. 
and to the universe that birthed us all. That is beautiful. Okay, and what I'm getting is some of you um, needing to ground yourselves. And what grounding means is, to me, is um, bringing in those harmonious energies from nature is the best way that I know of. But doing something, if, if it's not nature for you or if you can't do nature, get out in nature and just have some of that harmonious energies come come into you and surround you and open you up, then the next best thing is doing something that you enjoy, something that relaxes you, something that um, just away from others and just spending some time and, again, doing something that calms you down, relaxes you, brings you peace, brings you joy, brings you happiness for just a little while to help balance you out, especially if you're still in this strife and stress and tied up in knots at, at, you know, maybe some of you, it's coming and going. That's normal too. So, okay. Communicating, again, might be important for some of you. For you to communicate to someone that writing a wrong is what I just got, okay? And you'll know if that's right for you or not. But blue is, is the throat chakra. And that's speaking, that's talking, that's communicating in some way, shape, or form. So communication is essential this month. Honest, truthful communication I just got. Okay. All right. Well, let me see if I can get from one of these cards, Leo's. But you are ending a cycle. That is you, you are doing it. It is going to happen, and it's going to be different times for all of you. And I was just drawn to say again, for those that this sounds right for, to check your natal wheel to see if the new moon on the 7th in Virgo is significant for you, or the full moon, and or both for some of you. The full moon is again on the 20th, and it will be 28 degrees Pisces. And the new moon, Virgo, 14 degrees on the 7th. Okay. All right, so let's just see one more before my shuts off, so I better hurry up. And this is the last thing, roots of abundance, number two. Look at that roots of abundance so you are going to when abundance comes when your cycle is completed yes you this is going to thrill you to, to your core is what i'm getting all right that is awesome and abundance is going to be different for all of you okay depending on who you are all right until next time leos bye